Hey guys, Mike Bland, SIS Global Investigations. Uh, I was going to do a quick video weighing in on the power grid attacks. I saw where law enforcement was getting subpoenas, uh, you know, the FBI was for uh, cell phones that were being used in the time of the uh, basically sniper attacks on the power grids, the transformers, the cooling systems, whatever, took them down, left thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people without power last week or so is either North Carolina or somewhere. And then up in uh, Northwest also, there's a bunch of them going unsolved, just nationwide. But, you know, whether it's extremists, domestic extremist guys, some foreign state actors, whatever it is, or some ticked off ex-Special Forces guys. I mean, obviously these guys are doing these. They often go unsolved. They have a lot of training, most likely some type of uh, definitely professional military training and probably either are some type of special forces guys or trained by if they're uh, militia domestic guys domestic extremists again they're either ex-military current military or trained by somebody in the military to have the weapons the training the accuracy doing these missions sometimes at nighttime in and in and out undetected i uh, really don't think they're going to find much guys like that are not going to go marching in using cell phones uh something that is going to trace their um you know, their activities and basically record themselves while they're doing it, uh, meaning the location with the cell phone tires pinging. So generally something like that, you're definitely spinning your wheels on even requesting the info. But again, as a professional investigators, you've got to do that and cover all your bases. So I think those guys, uh, unless someone talks or brags or something, I think it's going to be very hard to prove. They also obtain some shell casings. Uh, again, you know, they're sending those to labs and seeing if their rifles have been used before in databases to fire those weapons. They're not going to find something that's going to match in there and some crime, uh, most likely. A lot of people get a lot of hopes and things like shell casings and fingerprints and those kind of things. And it's not always like in the movies and some CSI show. It's often very unreliable. If the person has never been arrested or fingerprinted for a job or in the military where they have their fingerprints in the system then they're not even going to have their fingerprints so uh you're going to have fingerprints to some guy that you don't know who they belong to if it's a like guy from mexico or something again not a u.s citizen unless he's been arrested or in the system they're not going to have his fingerprints so fingerprints will be absolutely useless uh same thing with the shell casings works the same way and just wanted again to do a little short video weighing in on these power grid attacks and just letting people know some uh, little uh, ins and outs of the investigations on that. All right, guys, stay tuned.